Anyway, let's go and uh, check it. Oh, well, Sans is gone. Uh, either way, how is there snow there? No? No? Okay. Well, no explanation for that, I think. Okay. Well, you weren't there a moment ago. Oh, K K K K K! I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Um, I mean, there's, there's, there's plenty of water in the water. You know what? Never mind. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. I'll go ahead and save that. And what's up with these guys? Sorry, Undyne like told us there was totally a human in this area. So, like, us real guards are blocking off the elevators for now. <laughs> Even if the elevators aren't working anyways, we'll just do our best, Miss Undyne. Doesn't say anything. We can kill humans and take their souls. No, darlings, please don't do that. That's the whole point of this story, the pacifist mode. We're supposed to be friendly and kind to the humans. By the way, we're going to go back and hang out with Undyne now. Cha la la I'm the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I would love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat, yes. Where will we go today? How about the waterfall? Then we're off. Okay, let's see. I don't know you had any pets. Oh yeah, yes, yes I do. Darling, it's a fabulous little puppy. Actually, two of them. I got a big puppy and a little one. Tra la la, tree lily, tra lily. Robot that has a dog. It's a robot dog. After all, why wouldn't that be, darling? Come again sometime, tra la la. Okay. Well, now then, let's go and hang out with Undyne. What time is it? 50? We might still have some time for that. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Save that. Okay. The music is kind of interesting here. Hey, right, Papyrus. No, ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes, of course, darling. Okay! Stand behind me. Make sure you give her this. She loves these. Okay. <laughs> Not even sure what that is. I guess it's a bone or something. Oh. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Oh. Hi. I don't think we've... <laughs> yeah. Why don't you two come in? <laughs> oh, I love this part. <laughs> Here, Undyne! My friend brought you a gift for you! On their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. That's a lot of them. <laughs> so were we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! Whee! <laughs> ah, I love papyrus, darlings! <sighs> so why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Well... Uh, no, yes, no, uh, I'm gonna say no, I think I'm gonna say no, uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell her no, I'm gonna tell her no, I'm not trying to do it. Then why are you here? Huh? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Never with you. How about yes? Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Oop. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne would be friends with you. 
But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second! Darn it! He thinks I can't be friends with you! <laughs> what a joke! I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day! I'll show him! Listen up, human. We're not just gonna be friends. We're gonna be... Besties! I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else! <laughs> it's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? <laughs> oh god, Papyrus, I love him so much, I love how he does everything. So, let's see here. I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he nails landing! <laughs> oh god, I... The thing is, darlings, I love their relationship. I love the relationship between Undyne and Papyrus because they remind me so much of two friends I have that are very much like this. The only thing being that the one that's like Papyrus, he's not so innocent or naive by any stretch of the imagination. Ah, uh, but their relationship otherwise is very, very, very similar, and it's just hilarious. One time, Alphys his, uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. Alex, whoever could she be talking about? Could it be... Moi? I think it could, Darlix. I think it could. <laughs> I love laying seductively on pianos and eating grapes. Do who doesn't, in fact? But I admire his lifestyle. Well, yes, definitely one thing to admire. This is a lovely sword. It kind of looks like it might be compensating for something. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Uh, yeah, sure, darling. <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one! So me and Alphys built me a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Ah, uh, you're crushing on her. I know you are, darling. It's okay. I think you guys are a cute couple. I hate cold food. So Alphys fixed my fridge up so it heats food up. Hot fridge! The world's greatest invention! <laughs> There's the silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Darling, that's just a little bit kinky. I like it! This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. Yeah, no, that's definitely true, darling. Oh, what about those things? Look inside the bone drawer, yes. Oh! <laughs> that, darlings, is hilarious. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. And what's here? You want to see my room? Too bad! No nerds allowed! Well, maybe some nerds. Oh, oh darlings, she's getting a little dirty talking there. Uh, let's go ahead and sit down, I guess. Sit down and progress, yes. Let's do that. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Okay. Let's see. All set? What would you like? Uh, whoa! Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Um... Why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear! Okay, uh, let's see here. Soda, sticky yellow liquid. I'm gonna point to that. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth, it rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit! Huh? Why do I have it? Well, 
<laughs> that face that she makes, though, I love that. <laughs> Tough person and a nerd, very interesting combo. But the thing is, though, that she... Undyne herself is kind of a bit nerdy, too. I just love some of those cutesy little things she does. She's such an anime weeaboo nerd. I love it. Hot chocolate... Tea box, blatantly correct choice. Okay, well, fine, I'll go with that, then. Tea, huh? Coming right up! Okay. Let's see, who should we start off with? Aww. Tough Night Fish X anime loving nerd. Yep. Let's see, it'll take a moment for the water to boil. Da -da 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 -da. Dun 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 dun. Da, 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 da. Okay, well, that works. Okay, it's all done. Do, 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 do. Oh. Here we are. <laughs> How does that even kind of stay on there after she broke the table, I wonder? Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already! <laughs> I love the way that she has. You take a sip of tea. It's burning. Well, die like that is just a tad bit painful. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! <laughs> ah, just, she's just such a crazy hoot. Hey! You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. Aw. <laughs> you know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked! Anyways, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like... uh, Papyrus. No. Oh. <laughs> but, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up becoming friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why... I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So... Um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Let's, uh, wait a second. Papyrus is cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to make it for him. We'll have to have it for him. Whoa! Dramatic cooking time! Whoa! She, she like, kicks everything off of that. I love it. That's right! Nothing is but Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! Oh! Ah. <laughs> Just 
grabs me and rips me by the head. <laughs> Let's start with a sauce. Whoa. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will I pound? Strong or wimpy? Wimpy. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. I love it. Uh, oh my god, stop petting the enemy! I'll show you how it's done. Nyah! Well then, darling. <laughs> uh, we'll just scrape this, in, scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... Whoa. We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. <laughs> They're the cheapest. Nyah! Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely. You throw everything in the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta! As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Press C to stir. Stir harder! Harder! I'm stirring as hard as I can! Harder! <laughs> no, let me do it! <laughs> wow! <laughs> That's the stuff! Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat! Let the stove top symbolize your passion! Let your hopes and dreams turn into a burning fire! Ready? Don't hold anything back. Turn right to hold... Turn up the heat. Oh, okay. Hotter! Whoa! Hotter! Darn it! Hotter! Wait, that's too... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Underfell Metaton. Is Underfell Metaton here? Oh. Ah. Man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Um, so what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. If we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends... It means I can destroy you without regret! Oh, uh... I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Nah! Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Uh, fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. <laughs> what? That's the best you can manage. Even attacking at full force. You just can't master any attempt to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't want to actually hurt you either. At first I hated your stupid Sacrine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart! Just like him. <sighs> Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh. And if you do hurt Asgore... 
I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. <laughs> okay, so... Give me one second, where's my... There's this, okay. 115. You know what, we've got a little bit of time here. I say we go and start meeting me, darling. You have much work to do, Fork! Did you listen to what I told you? Nope. I didn't listen to a damn thing! Oh, I hate to go over it again, but I guess I'll start over! Now for the quick version. We'll be here till sunrise! A bee, I am not! I am from 10 years in the future, and in the future, all is devastation. Gaius, the Universal Cosmic Destroyer, sent all of the horrors of eternal darkness.